Incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance is when neither allele is dominant. The two alleles blend together to create a new blended phenotype. Whenever you hear the word incomplete, think blend in. So blend in, incomplete. Um, for incomplete dominance, you use two capital letters since neither one is recessive. Let's do an example. Uh, when red tulips are crossed with white tulips, all of the offspring have pink flowers because red and white mixed together or blended together would make pink. What percent of the offspring will be red, white, and pink if we cross two pink tulips? So the first thing you need to do is assign your different traits with an allele. So we have red flowers, white flowers, and pink flowers. Now, like I said, for incomplete dominance, we only use two different capital letters. So we have red and white. They blend together to make pink. So we don't need a P for pink. We just use a, the two letters we use for red and white mixed together. So red is R, white is W, and then we use R and W for pink. So our problem says we're going to cross two pink tulips. So we need to put our um, pink alleles on the sides. So we have RW for the pink male and RW for the pink female. Now, just like our other Punnett squares, we take the letter on the top and the letter on the side to fill in our square. So first we get RR. And then we do the same thing. We have RW. And if you put WR instead of RW, it means the same thing. So don't worry about that. RW, WR mean the same thing. And then we have RW again. And then WW. So... Um, we're asking, or it's asking, what percent of the flowers are going to be red, white, and pink? So for our red flowers, we want to find the flowers that only have an R. So we have one with, a, with just two R's. The other ones have a W. So one out of four is 25%. So 25% of the offspring tulips will be red. And then it says uh, white. So white has a W allele, and no other alleles, or else it would be pink. So WW is right here, and one out of four is 25%. And then finally, we're asked for how many, uh, or what percent are going to be pink. And so we have two RW, so two pink flowers, two out of four is 50%. Next, we're going to discuss codominance. Codominance is when both alleles show up, when neither allele is dominant, or both, sorry, both alleles are dominant, so they both show up together. And just like a coworker is somebody you work together with, codominance is when your alleles show up together. So whenever you see co, think together. Also with codominance, we use two capital letters. We have no recessive letters because neither allele is recessive. And some examples of phenotypes caused by codominance are spots and stripes. So like a Dalmatian or a striped tiger, anything like that. Whenever you see spots and stripes, that's a sign that we're talking about codominance. So here's an example. When white bunnies mate with black bunnies, all the offspring have black and white spots. What type of offspring will be produced if a black bunny and a spotted bunny are mated? So first we need to assign alleles to our different phenotypes. So the two, um, two alleles that we're starting with are black and white. Um, we don't need to use a different letter like S for spots because spots are made up of black and white. So we're going to use B for black, W for white, and BW four spots, and these are all capital letters. So in our problem, we are crossing a black bunny. So the black bunny would be big B, big B, and a spotted bunny. The spotted bunny would be BW. And if you rearrange your Punnett square so you have the BW on top and the BB on the side, that works, you'll still get the same answer. So in this first square, we line up our B and our B, so we get BB. Same with our second square. The next one, we get BW, and then BW. And again, if you write WB, it means the same thing as BW. It still spots. So our percent black will be any of our bunnies that have two Bs. So we have two Bs here and two, B here, two Bs here. So two out of four is 50%. Now our white bunnies um, would need to have a genotype of WW. We have no WW, so 0% of the bunnies are expected to be white. And then for spotted, we're looking for BW. So two out of four are spotted. Therefore, 50% of our bunnies are expected to be spotted.